everybody, welcome back to, uh, Space Quest V, The Next Mutation. Suck it down, Quirk. I was mistaken. Hmm. Now suck it down. My scout ship! I won, I won! <laughs> I was mistaken about the score. It's only worth a hundred. And it doesn't matter whether or not you lose any ships. Why you dirty no good? <laughs> What's going on here, Cluey? Gotten that slug bait crewman from the Goliath called our ship a garbage scow. I couldn't sit there and let them get away with it. I think the Eureka is a garbage scow. Oh yeah, I forgot. Why didn't have to go rubbing our noses in it? I've heard enough. Guards, police men are arrested and toss them in the brig. Wait a minute, Quirk, you just can't... I can did, and I'll stow it well go or you'll end up alongside him in a detention cell. If you excuse me, I would have... I had to get back to my ship. I wouldn't want to keep the uh, faster waiting. Uh. Well, that's no good. Ellie's sitting in the upper booth when we came in, Captain. What about him? Oh, I have an excellent memory for criminal cranial configurations, and I'd swear it was the same creature we saw in that transmission we intercepted. What do you suppose he was doing with Quirk? I have an idea. What do you think, Troll? Beats me. I didn't even see the guy when we came in. Why'd you say, uh-oh, here we go again, when we came into the bar? I believe he had a slight misunderstanding with the crew member from the Intrepid the last time we came in here. What do you mean by slight misunderstanding? Apparently, Cliffy made some colorful speculations about the crew member's parentage, and he proceeded to make some unflattering anatomical references. I get the idea. Males. You can't live with them. Sometimes you can't even tra house train them. That reminds me of my 14th husband, Vlad. He was always brawling. Captain doesn't have time to listen to one of your, pers your fascinating personal narratives right now, Flo. Have to figure out how to get Cliffy out of Slammer, right, sir? Uh, yeah. See, I told you the, you, the Captain wasn't a complete closet case. Flo, I'm with you, sir. Let, let's just blast him out. That's a fine idea, Drool, but it would draw too much attention. There's got to be a better way. Perhaps if I were to read this package about monkey. A package of dehydrated space monkeys given to you by the sales beast of the bar. A small label at the bottom reads, Warning, do not mix contents of packages with alcohol. Well, why not? I'm not going to let any package tell me what to do. Not in my drink. Don't put your thingies in my drink. Mistakes may have been made. Who's the moron who let all the dang space monkeys loose? Adorable, aren't they? The pseudo o prime mate seemed to possess a pronounced proclivity for procreation. He's a cute little bugger, isn't he? I wonder what would happen if you put him in a microwave. So I'm outside the airlock on an EVA and I hear the phone ring. 
I gotta climb in, cycle the airlock, decontaminate, climb out of the pressure suit, run to the phone. I hate that. Turns out it's one of those new phone companies wanting me to switch to galactic long distance switch long galactic long distance carriers. Talking about these big savings I can get if I just switch from Sprint to TTNA, these friends and alien plan. Can you believe it? What'd you tell him? I said no way, it just isn't worth it. Alert. 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 Come on, let's go see what it is. Maybe we get to beat somebody up. Maybe. Not running well today. I know it's not how you spell everywhere. No! A variety of controls, including those. This for the force field are operated from this console. The cell appears to be as empty as the orb atop your shoulders. The cell is constructed of titanium plastel and ferro-concrete. The word impenetrable springs to mind as you stare at it. Why well, am I glad to see you, Captain? Got yourself in a fine predicament this time, Cliffy. I'm sorry, Captain, but it wasn't my fault. I know, Cliffy, I know. You're not going to leave me uh, in this tiny cell for the rest of my life, are you? Of course not, Cliffy. The Eureka isn't going anywhere without her chief engineer. Heck, nobody else can eat. I can't even figure out half the jury rig contraptions you've installed. It's nice to feel needed, sir. Now, all we have to do is get you out. Any ideas? Not a one, sir. Maybe you can find something that will get me get through these bars. But be careful, it's mighty, it's mighty cramped quarters in here, and I'd like to make it out in one piece. Well, only one thing to do. Do you good boy? I guess a little beastie is good for something after all, sir. Hope there are no Scottish people listening to this that are ins insulted by that. Terrible, uh attempted an accent. I feel like I should know those two, but I don't. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying! And let's hope nobody ever figures out that it was us.
We good? We not good? You ever do it Regilian style, Captain? Can't say that I have, Flo. Once you act. Oh dear. Flo's been looking at me kind of strangely lately. You wouldn't have any idea why, would you? Ca really couldn't say it, Captain, but I think she's very taken with you the way you handled the situation back there on the space station so confidently. God damn it. Why are you doing this to me? It, it, it is such an easy thing to record. I think she kind of likes you. Looks like we're stuck with another crummer job again. Are you really surprised, sir? Nope. Just thought they might give us a break. Uh, fat chance. By the way, Captain, what you did for Cliffy back at the station was really great, sir. A lot of commanders would have left just left in the rot in there. And the version with the space monkeys was very creative, sir. It was pretty brilliant, wasn't it? Now don't go getting all puffed up at me. I have to slap you upside your head, Captain. Changed his voice again. Looking back on it now, that's not a good way to do things because bleh, you can't understand what they're saying. That's strange. I'm not tracking away speaking. Maybe we should investigate. I can pull us into orbit and take a closer look, Captain. Standard orbit. Hey, old planet. Ailing, sir. Captain, maybe we should stall call stock on. Do just that. You have reached Starcon's central command. All our wheelings are busy right now, but if you stay on the street, I think that might take some time. Mr. Well, Mr. Rule, what do you think of our situation? Not sure what to make of it, sir, but I think it's very odd we haven't heard from the colony. Maybe they've been taken over in an enemy sneak attack. We're not at war with anyone, Drool. I know, sir, but maybe we should or nuke them from orbit just to be safe. Interesting suggestion, Drool, but uh, it has a few drawbacks. Probably right, sir. Let's beam down and take them out hand to hand. I'll take that under advisement. And by that, I mean I'm going to do just that. Transport room, Captain. Uh. 
whiter, white, brighter, bright. It's, it's a it's a Clorox thing. Although that might not even have been what been one of their uh, their uh, sp spokes lines. I'd be thinking of a completely different bleach. D's Annihilator Android, originating from the planet Oakhurst 4. Is it? We're a garbage scow. Oh, right. Energize! Forgot about old Spike. Same as the new Spike. This may be dangerous, Captain. Let's split up so we can cover more territory. Don't you think we should stick together? We'll leave you at a quick. In case you don't get the joke, that's the whole red shirt thing is a Star Trek reference. Anybody who wears a red shirt is going to die. A suspicious looking object which you can't quite discern from your present location is wedged in the rocks above you. The building has a large hole ripped inside it, inside of it. Scorp Mach detects the recent use of the colony's shuttle pad. Two terrestrial moons named Larry and Moe by the colonists are visible above the horizon of Clorox 2. Oh, where's Curly? Well, I suppose Curly isn't always involved. There's Shemp. Curly Joe. Who is not the same as Curly. Computer console appears to be the only piece, piece of machinery in the working in a working motor inside the entire greenhouse. Well, let's have a look. See. <laughs> what? Oh, well, that's you, the ugly one. I was ugly once, just like you. But look at me now. I can make you pretty like me, hmm? Try and dodge my death, you ease monkey boy! You know, little er, amoral. Uh, I mean, we'll clear that rashy face right up. Now get off me! Nice 
nice shooting, Tex. Thought it was dog meat for sure. Hey, he's a real looker. I better scout around and see if there's any more of these creatures I can blow away. Bitch, back on the ship. He's undergoing some kind of metamorphosis. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you. At last, I'm free. What happened here? Tart colony mutated. Red soup. Secret path over the ridge. Ugh. What a bunch of gibberish. Rude. The late colony is now part of the corpse core. What this? Hmm, that small piece of paper wasn't there before. What do it say? Stargate, Stardate rather, 3012.68. Something very strange is going on here in the colony since the Goliath's last visit. A small survey team is a week overdue and there have been reports of strange creatures roaming the Badlands. No bad it's another bit of cabin fear by the more imaginative types, but I'm more uh, I'm worried about the appearance of the survey team. Personal log, start, date, uh, 30, 15.68. I'm becoming more and more alarmed. The search party dispatched to learn the fate of the survey team has been reported back for more than 50 hours. Fear spurred on by more wild rumors about the creatures at the colony on the verge of panic. Personal log start date 3, 30.16.68. God help us, a band of hideous mutant creatures attacked last night. Very few of us escaped the massacre, and I have been wounded slightly. No doubt that these creatures are intelligent, and even have, appear to have a rudimentary understanding of technology. They've captured the shuttle pad, cutting off our only means of escape. And using my personal passcodes, I have sealed the colony so that the creatures will no longer be able to get into any kind of undamaged structures. Versus the log, start date 3017.68. I am in agony. The wound I re received burns like fire. An hour ago, the mutant creatures blasted off in the colony shuttles. They climbed the point of the ramp, I got a good look at the creatures in daylight. It was hideous. The tattered rags he wore were the remnants of, the, of a survey team's survival suit. I have a terrible suspicion about the fate of the colonists. I am now utterly alone on this planet. Dying, I hope. Well, you're not dying now. You're dead. Phrase primordial soup and the logo of the Genetics Research Corporation. A small label near the bottom reads the ominous inscription: Biohazard ter Tetrogenic Substance. Do not expose to direct sunlight, air, or water. Do not ingest, inhale, or allow contact with exposed skin. Another fine product from Genetics Research Corp. 411 sector something or other. that. The Surgeon General warns that handling a toxic waste container may be hazardous for your health.
one to beam up. Is Eureka? Go ahead, Captain Wilco. Sorry, I stood up. Oh great, just when I was starting to start no wine up here. Will it happen? Yes. No! Sometimes that'll happen. Situation. We've already did that. That's not important. We already investigated. You've wasted my time. How dare you? up a weak signal on an emergency frequency, Captain. I'm putting it on screen. Mayday! Mayday! This is the NCS Goliath. Any confederation ships in the ra in range, please respond. NCS Goliath, uh, repeat, we're under attack. They came through Shuttle Bay. Sorry, sir, I've lost the transmission. The message was too brief to pin down the exact source, but I've narrowed it down to the region of the Thrakis system. Meanwhile, on the SCS Goliath. Well then. What'd you make of that last transmission, Flo? It was highly irregular, sir. Quirk sounded like he was in big trouble. Right, I never seen him so accept. to me that time when he fell on his fanny in front of Ambassador Wankmeister. You know his face? It looked like he was developing some kind of skin problem. I once had a nasty... Rash similar to that, it was awful. Couldn't sit comfortably for weeks. What should we do about it? I recommend washing the affected air daily and wearing an antibiotic lip balm. I was talking about the message flow. Oh, well, in that case, I think we should try and rendezvous with the Goliaths and render whatever aid we can immediately. Thanks for saying my butt back on Trollarx, Trollarx 2, Drool. No problem. No problem, Captain. I've always wanted to try one of those quick draws. Oops. I'm just glad I can still shoot straight after the nerve injury to my hand. It gives me the shake something awful. Maybe try the other hand. Anyway, we'll call it a video here. I am the Blue 32. This is Space Quest 5. And hopefully this will run better next time. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.